everybody, welcome back to Art à la Carte and this month's gemstone drawing. So every month I create a gemstone themed picture for that month's gemstone, which in May is the emerald. If you haven't seen the other videos that I've done in this series, I will have a playlist that I will link at the end of this video or in the description box below so you can check that out. Now all of my pictures start off with an initial sketch. Whether I do it traditionally or digitally, it doesn't really matter. Though I do like to color the picture traditionally. Sometimes watercolor, sometimes Copic markers or color pencils, or sometimes a mixture of all of them. But I want to take the beginning part of this video to bring some perspective. Sometimes when we watch speed drawing videos and they go so fast, it makes it look so easy. And I have a lot of you guys commenting or messaging me saying that you're really frustrated, that you don't feel like you're getting better, that, that other artists can create so very quickly where it takes you so long to draw something. So I wanted to put this into real time for just a moment so you can see that it takes me a long time to draw this. Now the initial sketch up itself, just really quickly sketching it, you can see kind of the blue marks and the really light gray marks behind this, probably took me at least an hour once I got the sketch that I liked. Before that it was several hours of drawing just different sketched ideas. This part is just inking in. I'm initially just tracing my lines to draw the eyes. I'm not even going to show you the entire amount of time that it took me to draw two eyes, basically trace the lines that I already had, but it took me 10 minutes to draw both eyes. Just to put a little perspective, if you're like, oh, some artists can just draw pictures in just a matter of minutes, but it takes me forever. It takes a lot of us a long time, but with the magic of speeding up our videos, it does look easy, but it's not. Once I completed the line art, then I printed it off onto cardstock and began the very, again, slow process of coloring it. For this one, I'm using mostly Copic markers, but at the very end, I do go in with color pencils and a little bit of gel pen to add in the final details. This piece, I love it. I adored everything about it. Sometimes on some of my pieces, I will make mistakes and have to start over. For those of you who watched some of my videos, you will know that like last month's gemstone was a little bit tricky. My last YouTube artist collective was very tricky. This one was not tricky. It was just very detailed and very time consuming. So I spent the entire day just on the coloring process. So all of all day yesterday doing the sketching and line art and all of today doing the actual coloring. I only recorded the flat color, the basic color. I did not record the actual pencil sketch or the like going in with colored pencils and adding shading and highlighting and things like that. I'll show you a little bit of that towards the end of this video, but this footage is sped up 2000 times. And I just knew that it would not be an exciting video to watch colored pencils. The, the putting in the flat color is the funnest part to see because it moves the fastest and there's the most change because the detail in this piece was so minute. Pretty much all you would see was the back of my head because I have to get my head really close to the paper so I can really make out the super fine detail. Mainly because when I printed this off, I made the line art this kind of light brownish color and the floral decoration that she has in her hair has all these clovers. And when I put the flat color, it just about dissolved all my clovers into this sea of green. And I, I couldn't tell which was clover and which was lily of the valley, which lily of the valley is May's flower. So I thought it would be fun to add that into the picture. I tried to do that. I tried to find some other element to put in there. Last month I didn't because it was a mermaid and it was under the ocean. So I just had the aquamarine stone and a mermaid eelish mer eel, whatever she was. <laughs> Um, but this one, I wanted to have the emeralds showcased. I wanted Lily of the Valleys and I wanted to add some shamrocks. I also decided to do a lot of gold detailing, which I used my uh, gel pens and I had some glitter green that I added some accents to some of the clovers and some of the buttons on her dress. Now, some of you guys may enjoy the coloring process more so than the drawing process. And for those of you, I do have the line art for this piece available on my Etsy shop, along with many, many other coloring pages out there. So you just digitally download it. You can print it off as many times as you want. And again, I will have a link to that in the description box below so you can check that out. So as you guys know, May is also Mermaid, which 
I, I was slightly tempted to do a mermaid in this picture instead of just a little Irish girl, but yeah, I had to go with this little Irish beauty. I had so many things I wanted to do with her. I didn't want to make her look exactly like Merida. I really wanted to kind of steer clear from that. And originally her hair was going to be a lighter red, but I just began to push myself with that contrast. And that's the area in my art where I'm really pushing myself is to push in the contrast. I have a hard time doing that. So you'll see that as I've colored her, I've shaded her many times and I keep going back and darkening that shading in. It's a slow and tedious process of, you know, just working step by step to slowly increase the contrast and saturation of colors. But with that being said, let's go ahead and speed this up. So let's do a little, little uh, art uh, video magic and just poof right to the end. So here is the final piece. I'm again, so excited about this one. I really love how it turned out. Many of you guys have been asking, am I going to be making prints of these gemstones? And because they're an interesting shape, they're not like a regular paper size. It's been kind of challenging to figure out how to make them into prints. Um, but I'm working on it. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me and happy birthday to everybody whose birthday is in May. I know a lot of you guys have been asking and waiting patiently for May's birthstone to come out. So happy birthday. Let us know in the comment section if May is your birthday. Tell us what day in May. We'll have a little party in the comments. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.